Dem am I garden mel. Dem am I garden mel. The canoe has to be uprated. That's what it means. The canoe has to be uprated after a mishap. So it's a metaphor of life. When you have mishaps in life or death, you have to uh, rearrange and look forward and go forward from that mishap. Oh, I, I miss the man. I, I, I've known a, a new Alvin for a long time, and uh, I was ever so pleased when he came into the church and started working for the church and uh, work to better the situation for First Nations people in BC. Well, Alvin and I go from way back. I started working with Alvin, you know, through the Native Ministry Council uh, and through the, uh, through the years and right up to his death, we worked together both provincially and nationally at different uh, gatherings. He did a lot of work through visiting different communities, you know, li listening from, listen to them. And at national gatherings and provincial gatherings, he'd do the same. Uh, and using all what he learned and bringing it to a church house or to BC conference. He's one of these guys that uh, said it as it was. He sometimes wasn't very gentle, but was effective. He, he understood and knows traditionally who he was, and he also has a teaching degree. And so you can say that he lived both worlds. And because of the fact that he lived both worlds, he had a good understanding of our situation as Native people. Well, I think it's I think it's a, a necessary thing, uh, as long as it carries the message that it should. That we, as as people that try to lead in this United Church of Canada to be involved in the church, do it in such a way and teach people that we need to take certain steps, important steps to establish who we are, so that we are the church. And that has to continue. The work that he did to, you know, to, for, for the native congregations and non-native congregations to be more closer, as I said earlier, to get that canoe going in the right direction and together. He did a lot of you know, work of bringing the people together. And to name it in his honor was, uh, was the best way to show some, you know, to show respect and a big thank you for his work. <laughs>